With the error type function in Excel, you can check a value and if it's an error, it will return a number and you could use that number to help users troubleshoot any problems that they're having in your workbook. In this first example, we'll just see how error type works. So in this cell, you can see the value error and in the adjacent cell, there's the error type function. It's checking cell B3 and the result is three. So these are what those codes mean. So we can see that a three returned is the value. So if we had a name error, it should return a five. I've just got a drop down list of those errors here. And if there's a name result in this cell, it shows five as the error type. Now, this can be a formula result or as I've got here, just text in the cell and it's going to show the result. If I type equals three divided by zero, that should give me a division error. And it does, it shows a two here, which is divide by zero error. So we can take that information and use it to help people who are having problems in a workbook. Here we've got two blue cells where people will enter a student's score on a test and what the total overall could be. And from that you'd get the percentage. Now if someone enters a zero here, we'd get our division error again. So there's the result in the cell. This cell is just checking to see if there's something in cell C3 and then it's dividing B3 by C3. So we've got the division error and now in this cell below we're using the error type function to return a number and then look up goes to this table finds that number and returns a message from that row in the message column. So here we're telling people that they can't use zero as the total so that should help them solve the problem.